Hi Aries, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another love fight. Aries, let's see what are the messages here for you today. And a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Aries spirit, what does Aries need to know? Three cards for one person, Aries. Three of Wands, oh, the Sun card, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The other person spirit, Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. Mutual energies, Seven of Cups, Knight of uh, Swords in reverse, and the Page of Swords. Okay, bottom of my deck, Ace of Wands. Somebody really here wants a passionate brand new beginning, Aries. They are uh, looking into their future maybe and envisioning uh, happiness, but they're not sure whether their offer is going to be accepted. The other person, yes, has a lot of boundaries up, is really guarding their energy, saying, you know what, I'm single, I'm independent. I don't want anyone to come and disrupt my life anymore or play mind games with me. I'm good the way I am. So let's see what's going to happen. We'll do your mutual energies as well and clarify all these cards. But first, let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other now, Aries, what that would be. And then we'll clarify these Aries and their person spirit. Aries and their person, if they could say something to each other now spirit, what would that be? Aries and their person spirit. Aries and that person. Alright, just a few more from a third deck as well Aries and then we'll start the reading. Aries and their person spirit. Last one. Okay, good to go. Let's start the reading. And uh, Aries, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. The first card I, uh, I get is, the way I felt about you really had me confused. They were confused about the feelings that they got. They were too intense, I get, I guess. I'm stuck in my ways. I wasn't ready to change who I was to be the one that you needed. Maybe there was, they had some set ideas in their mind when they met that person, it confused them, but maybe their stubbornness won, won, them, won over at that point. So I was stuck in my ways. I wasn't ready to change who I was to be the one that you needed. I still had strong feelings for someone else and I didn't want to lead you on. Maybe they were still getting over some past connection. You were the love of my life, but I couldn't see it because my heart was closed. You really were the best thing that's ever happened in my life. One day I believe we will be together again. I wish I could have been emotionally available and let you in. Every song I hear reminds me of you. Then I kept the wrong company around who interfered with this beautiful connection. I must admit that I'm longing for your touch and your warm embrace. I thought I wanted someone better than you, but there is no one better for me than you. Your indecision is a decision and your non-action is an action. Decisions and actions have consequences. This includes not making a decision or taking action towards me. Your coded cryptic messages and failure to answer questions drives me up the wall. If you're worried the karmic is going to see, just call me and tell me the effing truth. It's the least I deserve. So they confuse the other person as well that, you know, like, are you with me or are you still with somebody else? I mean, they were confused and they ended up confusing the other person. Why do you hide your pain from me? You know that I can see right through you. Our souls are entwined and reflect each other deeply. If you would only talk with me, I could help support your healing and this would help heal me too. All right, so these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, uh, Aries, with your uh, storyline, let's start this reading. But first, 
as always an angel blessing card and this one is you know for the viewer could be for you aries could be for the cross watcher who's here to check on your energy so a blessing guidance advice or a message for the viewer spirit and this card here aries says play music <laughs> yeah somebody is trying to maybe uh, sends messages through music I mean there was a card which said that every song reminds me of you so if they are intently thinking about you with these songs then maybe you know they're trying to project that to their person as well so try and play some random music I do that sometimes when I need a message or something even from my angels I'll just play random music and usually the first three songs they really hit home say so I get some message or the other so try that maybe your person's trying to you know get in touch with you through music okay and also spirit is trying to say that don't uh, kind of uh, overthink it or be over uh, analyzing everything just go with the flow like music is like all flow right so just take each day as it comes and see how things uh, progress in this connection instead of being you know like yeah you should have taken you know action before and now you're coming and now this and that just go with the flow and see how this thing is progressing i mean if one person was stubborn then maybe the other person should just relax and say okay i i won't be stubborn i'll allow you to at least say your piece all right spirit now let's start with uh, the clarification let's start with the first person's energy which aries is person a for me the second line is person b you could be either so what's the three of wands for you person a three of wands yep they want to talk this person is now envisioning a future they're ready for the future they're dreaming about their future they want to talk this person wants to start communication again they are thinking heavily about how how do i now move towards my wish come true the person i know is my star this is my wish my, my biggest wish or whatever this person has been heavily thinking about how do i now start communicating with them because uh, they want to bring back this happiness uh, sun card spirit sun card yeah they 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 don't want to be single alone uh, and alone anymore they don't want to be in hermit uh, mode anymore this person is ready for a passionate brand new beginning aries and this was the overall energy of our reading as well so this person wants to feel happy again they want to have passion in their life again um, they don't want to be single anymore and they want to pull out those swords i think which maybe at one time they plunged into this person's back uh, they want to come back and tell that person that no i'm not confused anymore there is nobody else in my life you are the only one you are the only cup i want and uh, well i want to come back to you i choose you there is nobody else so ace of pentacles in reverse then spirit ace of pentacles in reverse they are a little afraid <laughs> they are a little afraid that their, their offer may, might not be accepted but from their end they are totally ready this this is an emperor in the upright who wants to come show back up they want to have a fighting chance with their person even though they're not sure even though they're not sure whether their uh, offer will be accepted this person is uh, i don't know they're angry with themselves that why didn't i offer this earlier i mean this is like what if they don't accept my offer maybe they have a little bit of uh, fear of communication as well because uh, the fear is that what if maybe they find it difficult to be romantic they want to come back and romance their person and they want to start from scratch and woo their person and tell them that hey you know i want to take a leap of faith in your direction i i want to tell you that you are the one i want to spend the rest of my life with but they're going through a lot of stress a lot of anxiety maybe they are fi they are shy or they find it difficult to express themselves but inwardly i think this person is absolutely ready from their end now they just don't know the you know nicest nicest well, how do you say it for like my tongue is rolling right now the nice way to go and approach and say the right things or woo their person it's like how do i now express myself what if they don't even want me anymore so what about the second person spirits uh, person b how are they feeling about this uh person b is totally guarded oh my god nine of wands they've built a fortress around themselves they feel that i was willing 
I was willing to have a partnership with you, but you were selfish. You were self-centered. You were, you know, just wanting my attention, and uh, you were being so petty with me. Um, you never loved me. I soon realized that you are not my soulmate. This is not a, you know, partnership. This is not my. You're not my gift from the universe, kind of a thing. Why is person B saying all that? Because person A never made the choice at the right time. So now person B says, well, you never made a choice, so I made a choice. And uh, I'm now accepting I'm single. I'm focusing on myself. I'm taking good care of myself. I'm working on my money. I'm working on my own projects. And I'm living a pretty good life without you. So, yeah, person B is like... Uh, I'm not putting in any investment. Okay, you want to be friends with me, fine. I can know you, fine. But if you think I'm going to put in any investment into this connection, I'm not. I've already wasted enough time, energy, effort. Right now, I'm so busy, you know, focusing on my own successes because I think in the past, person B is the one who got left out in the cold. So it's not that they are bitter or anything. They, still, they are still showing up as a you know, somebody who's very loving and kind, but they are being a little protective about their heart. It's like, I'm not going to give you all that love for you to then again create chaos in my life. I've barely, barely kind of managed to heal myself. So somewhere person B feels that they are going to come in and repeat the same thing they did in the past. Again, play mind games, again, may maybe try and win them over and then leave them or, you know, hurt them or something like that. Uh, five of Swords, Five of Swords, yes, see, this is exactly it. Person B is afraid of repeating a chapter, repeating a cycle. So it's like, yeah, you know what, I know, I know you'll come and make me feel special. You'll make me feel like, you know, you chose me and then we'll be happy together again. And then again, you're going to like, it's going to, it's going to finally come out into the open that, hey, you know what, you were always checking out to see if the grass was greener on the other side. Or maybe I was just a friend or a friends with benefits. Uh, I know, I know you're a player. You were a player in the past and you're going to be continue being a player so fine i'll like i mean i mean i can rebuild with you but maybe just as a friend now i'm not upset i'm not angry i'm just too happy on my own to be upset about anything else okay so well then mutual energy is spirit uh, for the first person who is absolutely ready, they are wanting something long term. So what, is the, what, what do these three cards mean for the first person? Seven of Cups. They are... Uh, I think they are still holding on to that fantasy that, you know, things can get okay, that things can get fine, but they are a bit frustrated. They are a bit frustrated because they are sensing that the other person is not trusting them or will not trust them. It's like, how, they're very frustrated. It's like, and how do I now remove the, um, you know, stagnancy which has come into this connection? Uh, how do I now discuss the past heartbreak and what I now want for the future? How can I... How can I apologize to them? It's like it's frustrating them. They're going through these ideas in their mind. Uh, what they really want to do is offer their full heart. But somewhere they are scared they may not get a second chance. So that's, so that's the reason they are maybe still trying to keep a watch on person B or try and keep, you know find out if do they have somebody else. Uh, is there any possibility of transforming this connection? Uh, they are very burdened, very overwhelmed right now because they don't know whether the other person will even agree to them. Uh, they have good intentions, but they don't know whether the other person will agree to have them return back and have this full-fledged connection with them. The other person could be a bit, you know, silent or busy working or something. So tell me about the second person, spirit person B who's kind of made up their mind that I'm happier single and I'm not going to trust you. What's that person going to do? What are these three cards for them? Uh, person B says they treated me like an option, Umkara Taro, in the past. And uh, that's the reason this connection came to a halt. My boundaries are stronger now. My boundary, boundaries are stronger now and I will not settle for anything or anyone less than somebody who's going to offer me a long-term connection. 
some way they feel that the other person were is just talks they they are they come towards me with immature communication they you know come in and out of my life they're not consistent they are rude to me sometimes i do i really want to give this a second chance i don't think so i don't think so so i think person b is kind of taken a bit of a step back and saying you know what i am not fighting with them i'm not stopping them i'm going to allow them time to show me that what they want to build with me rebuild with me so i'm not going to but i'll also keep a watch on them uh, page of swords in reverse yeah person b says i don't want to go back to a place where once again they have the power over me i don't want to go back to a place where i was the one who was left emotionally unhappy so person b is sitting quite uh, strong on their chariot focusing on their future but still kind of saying okay you know what i'll wait and watch i need to see the truth i want to know what you are here to offer some person b feels that no this person is immature they have nothing to offer so it's like okay if you are saying you you do then i want you to show me i want you to show me that you're just not selling me an illusion again you're not being a trickster so i think that that's where person b is at so what's the yes of one spirit when of course it's for person a from what i felt they want to have a passionate brand new beginning and they are serious about the 10 of pentacles so tell me about the yes of one spirit yes of ones yeah this person is really wanting wanting to secure this connection they somewhere feel that uh, because they never took action on time maybe this person was scared or maybe they had other things or maybe they were immature whatever happened they are a little scared that if they come forward now things are going to backfire on them but they will come it's like they want to rush back in they know that person is upset with them and that's why i think this person is so worried all right so that's what i have for you till next time then aries love and light take care namaste